Hi, this is Jake from Jake's Rolex World, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Rubber B. Now, I'm going to begin with uh, just giving you an overview of how it works, and uh, a little later I'm going to uh, give you an installation overview on how to actually install it yourself. Um, so, the Rubber B is a replacement strap for a Rolex. Now this is a Rolex 5512 uh, uh, from 1967. Um, uh, pretty old, very cool. And you know, it, it, this really illustrates just how timeless Rolex watches are. I mean, what in the world could you own from 1967 that still looks as good and works as well. I mean, if you drove around in a car from 1967, like it might look cool, but you know, it wouldn't be that great. <laughs> you know, it runs on weird gas, and you know, just, just not, not that cool. Anyway, um, so basically, uh, Rubber B came up with this idea that they wanted to create the ultimate rubber strap for a Rolex. Um, and you know the oyster bracelet looks great. He wasn't trying to replace the oyster bracelet He was just trying to give you an alternative and it comes in different colors So uh, later in the video when I do the installation you'll see the installation for um, an LV Submariner Which is what I have right here and it's amazing these watches were made you know 40 years apart from each other yet They're remarkably similar. They both have maxi markers just really cool and they're both on rubber bees uh, Rubber B just came out with the orange strap, which is just a really, really, really cool, good-looking strap. So with this um, 5512, and it uses the original Rolex clasp, which is important. So I still have the triple lock clasp, uh, which is great. But it just gives it an amazing, it gives the, this, this is really weird. It gives the vintage Rolex a totally modern yet vintage classic look, um, if that makes any sense at all. You know, we have the taller crystal here. It has a, you know, this this watch is from 1967, so it's uh, it's very, very cool. And then we have the orange strap, which is very aquatic. Uh, you know, the safety orange color. It's actually a little bit lighter than safety orange. It's a little bit more like a pumpkin-y, but it's still a really, really nice color. Uh, very aquatic, very Jacques Cousteau looking. But it's just amazing to me how timeless and classic the rubber bee looks with this older Submariner. Now with an older Submariner, the Oyster Bracelet that came with it, uh, which had the triple lock clasp, it looks good, but it doesn't have the solid end links. Where with the Rubber B, it kind of has almost like a solid end link look. Uh, and it goes in and it fills in the entire area here in between the lugs. Uh, and it just gives it, it's just a, it's just a great, great look. Um, I was surprised because I, I planned uh, originally to do this review with just the LV and the black one, which uh, you know has a has a great look here. Um, but I was really you know, and I knew this would look good because I'd seen a rubber bee before on my LV sub. Um, but I was I was really just shocked at how super cool it looked on a vintage 5512 or, or a 5513. Um, it gives it this like just you know, I don't know this really really cool look. Anyway, uh, next we're going to. Uh, take a look at how to install this um, and uh, if you have uh, any questions uh, about it you can always uh, write in and I'd be happy to help you out and you can always go to rubberbee.com as well to uh, to learn uh, more about this product but uh, it's just just very very cool and you know very very high quality made from vulcanized rubber um, and it doesn't smell either. You know, a lot of um, rubber bands, uh, they smell because they're still off-gassing because they're made from cheap silicone or something like this. This is made from vulcanized rubber. Um, and it's just, you know, it's just an amazing look. All right, so let's take a look now at uh, how to in, uh, install one of these on your Rolex.